Hey guys, it's Mary Ellen. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thanks for stopping by. And Merry Christmas. I'm so excited that Christmas is here. And I'm excited to be providing you with a little bit of fun content on Christmas Eve. So today I'm just going to be doodling some Christmas doodles and just kind of explaining what I do. So I hope that you like this video and stick around to watch. Okay, so for those of you who watch my channel, you know that I do a doodle of the day at the end of every video. I thought it would be fun to just do a bunch of holiday doodles in one video. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm just using plain white paper. I'm going to be using this Muji 0.38 pen. I sort of like it because it's thin. I can get really detailed with my drawings. So before we start, I just want to give you a little disclaimer. It is hard for me to draw when my head is kind of far from the page. And when I am filming videos, my head can't get close. So these drawings are not going to be as good as I would if I was just drawing on my own. But hopefully these will give you some ideas. And I just wanted to give you like a little fun video today. So let's go. I'm just going to do like a voiceover and talk through it and speed it up. I hope you enjoy. We're going to get started here by just drawing some Christmas trees. There's so many different kinds. I'm going to start out by drawing the basic one that you learned in elementary school. Everyone drew trees that way. And now I'm just going to elaborate on that a little bit and make it look slightly more realistic by adding these little notches at the bottom. And of course, you want to decorate your tree with little balls or garland or however you wish. The third tree I'm going to draw is weighed down by snow so it's an outdoor tree and i just think these are so cute aren't they next up we have a really really basic christmas tree it's kind of charlie brownish so i put it in a little pot now here's a very abstract christmas tree and there's so many ways to draw these and decorate them i just did some basic lines there and then this tree is just a different type of shape, but you can still tell it's a tree. And I'm putting garland and Christmas balls on this one. I started with a new piece of paper because that one I did on the other paper got messed up. But here's some ways you can just draw quick and easy scribble trees. You've probably seen those types on cards before. This tree though is a lot more detailed, so I'm trying to make it look like a real tree here, kind of. And that's a fat one, isn't it? <laughs> this is a real, just fast scribble tree and you can do what you want, it's still gonna look cute. And then down here, we just have a little line tree with balls on the end, just something a little bit different. Next up, we're gonna draw some presents. There are so many different ways to draw presents. Here is a basic little package with string. And then you can get a little more elaborate and do ribbon on there with just a basic ribbon on the top. And then here, I'm just gonna add a top to it like it's an actual box kind of present. I like drawing those the best. I think they're just really fun. We're gonna draw a ribbon that goes right over that top there. There's so many different ways to draw ribbons. This, these are just examples, and I'm gonna decorate it with snowflakes. You can make any sort of wrapping paper you wish. That is the fun of it. This one's a little more stylized, so it looks like a flower pot here, but it's just a different type of present. It's just like kind of a fun, whimsical looking one, and I'm drawing a really big bow on the top, putting some polka dots on here, and those curly ribbons on the ends just makes it it gives it like a whimsical look next up a tall and skinny present with a different kind of bow yet again you can experiment with lots of different kinds of bows lots of different packages and this time just a basic line for the ribbon this one's sort of short and fat so there's so many different shapes you can make with these presents and the, this ribbon got a little more decorative then you can add stripes or whatever you wish for the wrapping paper. 
Here's a fun one, just an open present with like fun stuff coming out. Confetti, like yay, surprise. Next, we're gonna draw some Christmas lights. And again, so many ways you can draw these. You should start out with little rectangles though for the base, and then you can go on and add your lights. You can also make it glow like that. And there's a few different shape ideas for you for the bulbs, and you can make the bulb more detailed. Then you can make the cord different for all of them. This one is going to have one on every little swoop there. And again, it's just you can just experiment and do different things with the cord and different things with the lights. Down here, I am making Christmas lights that are star shaped and snowflake shaped and Christmas tree shaped. So you can make any kind of light shape. Now we're into candles. I love drawing candles because they, they're just really fun to draw. You can draw it with the wax hanging down or not. That's just your basic one on a plate. And now we're just gonna draw some holly at the bottom of this one with some pine needles poking out. Just a really fun way to decorate your candle. Next up, I'm just making the candle a little bit thicker and decorating it with a Christmas tree, or you can do a snowman, or you can do snowflakes or anything you want. This is a smaller, fatter candle, and it's one of those that have like that little square with like writing on it or a picture. That one got a little more realistic up there where the wax is, if you see it's kind of melting. And I did like a little poinsettia on that one I know it doesn't really look like a poinsettia, but it has like the twine around it, like some candles do. And then this one is a trio of candles and they're kind of melted on the top, the way that happens sometimes. And I'm just gonna put some holly down below, like it's kind of sitting on top of the holly. And lastly, we have a jar candle. These are really hard for me to draw. So um, yeah, just you can just put a little label on there and then just draw or write anything you want on there. Okay, now we have some generic winter doodles. You can use these not only at Christmas, but all winter long. And we have a hat here. You can get really creative with these little pom-pom hats and put any pattern on it you want. And then I like to draw mittens that have like the, um, the string that holds them together. I think that's so cute. And I'm just decorating it with some polka dots. And then there's two ways to draw scarves. You can just draw it like this, or you can loop it around like so. And striped scarves are always cute. Next up, we have an ice skate, and this is a little bit trickier to draw. Um, this isn't my best ice skate I've ever, ever drawn, but like it's, you know, it's okay. And you can just draw the little laces like that. So that's a short and fat one. And then we have a snowball, like in a snowball fight, and then some icicles. They're super easy to draw. And then some wind in a snowstorm. Okay, so next up we are going to talk about snowflakes. As you know, in nature, every single snowflake is different, and that's no exception when you're drawing them. I really like to vary the way I draw my snowflakes, but as long as you're symmetrical and putting the same thing on every line, um, it's gonna look good. It's gonna look like a snowflake. And you basically just start with that star shape, and you can just do what you want, and it's so fun to experiment and just try different things. Snowflakes are a great way to fill up space in your planner in the winter if you don't have a lot going on and you need to fill it up with something. Okay, next up, some ornaments. So ornaments are so versatile. You can draw them however you want. You can just do a circle, like a ball ornament. You can just do a simple one, like on the left, or you can, you know, make it as 
complicated and as detailed as you would like. You can also do little swirls in it like that. And that's a different type of top to it. You can see it's a little more detailed and here I'm drawing like a little scene in that one. And then there's other shapes, of course. There's this teardrop shape. And then this one is kind of vintage-y. And then of course, ornaments don't have to be balls or anything like that. They can be fun little ornaments. And that gingerbread man is a little messed up. Okay, but you can also do it hanging like that with little balls on it and stars. You can make, um, this is a bell and you can do little ties on them like this, either right at the base or up on the string. And then here is just some other stuff that really didn't fit in any category. You can do Christmas cards. You can get really detailed on that, but that's just a simple one for you. And then a stocking. Holly is pretty easy to draw, but for some reason I always have a hard time doing it. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, here's a snow globe, and basically you just start with that shape on the bottom and then put whatever you want to be in the globe and then just do a circle around it with some snowflakes. It's really easy and super cute. Here's a reindeer. This is pretty much how I draw all my animals with that shape head and this shape body. I don't know why I started doing that years ago, and that's just kind of how I do it. Okay, and for some reason I have a really hard time drawing candy canes, which sounds silly, but it's like the most simple thing. But for some reason it's a little difficult for me. And then here we just have a hot cup of coffee with a little Christmas tree on it. I love drawing coffee cups in my planner. And then we can't forget hot chocolate. And I'm just gonna decorate the mug. It's so much fun to decorate mugs because you can do little sayings on them or little drawings, whatever you want. It's going to look cute. And then this one is going to have a big dollop of whipped cream and then to finish it off, a cute little straw. So I just want to finish off the video by just showing you my doodle book. This is a Happy Notes notebook that I use for my doodles. And if you're not new to my channel, you do probably know that already. And I have it all separated out by category, and these are where the doodle of the day um, video, like the doodles that I do for the doodle of the day go. And I have a winter slash holiday category. So here's some of the doodles you've already seen today, but some other ones as well. Like that little elf on a shelf. I think that's so funny. <laughs> so that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was just kind of a different kind of video for you. Let me know in the comments if you'd like me to do more doodle with me videos in 2021. I can certainly do that for you if you're interested. Have a very, very Merry Christmas and I will see you guys soon. Take care. Bye.